All right, guys, something a bit different today. I'm going to show you how to make a hand sanitizer so when you're out and about, you can stay safe. This, this is not, um, you know, you should be washing your hands with soap and water. Okay, guys, this is not a substitute. Please wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water. This is just for when you're out and about. Perhaps you open a door in the shop. Perhaps you want to put this on your car steering wheel. So anyway, guys, there's a few things we've got. Over here, these are essential oils, but they're not essential. You actually don't need them at all. They're just to give it a nice smell. So I, we are going to use those because it's nice to have a nice smell. But if you don't have them, you know, it's not a disaster. You don't need them. There's tea tree oil. Peppermint. Lavender. Rosemary oil. Now, I am going to probably use the tea tree oil. But anyway, let's get started. Right, guys, so let's just get on with making this rather than chatting. Obviously, this is to keep you safe. Now, I'm making them in these bottles. They're 30ml bottles. So I'm just going to... I've already got some made, so I'm just going to show you how to make enough for one bottle. But, of course, you can scale this up. I'm using 20 ml alcohol. If you wanted to make 10 bottles worth, you could make that into 200 ml. You know, just keep... Keep the... Uh, percentage is the same right so you want it's two parts of alcohol to one of glycerin and then you can add your smelly stuff so you want two parts of alcohol so you take your alcohol you want two parts of this so I'm making 30 mils so two parts is 20 mils so 20 mils of alcohol All right, so that's two parts there, 20 mils. And one part is a, of 30 mils is, of course, 10 mils. So I want 10 mils of vegetable glycerin. Like that in. That takes you up to your 30 mils. That's what I want to make. Now, if you want to make a lot, what you would do is you could put 200 mils alcohol to 100 mils glycerin, right? But that's all made there, right? And you can give that a stir up if you want, or you can add your next ingredient. I'm gonna put a few drops of the tea tree oil. I'll put a few drops of that in there. That's up to you how many drops you do with that. I say three or four. You can stir it round in there, which would be quite a good idea. So you want to stir that round in there. Now, if, let's just say, you find that too thick for a spray, you could also add some water in there. But I think that seems very, very watery enough. So I'm going to get my bottle, get my funnel, and um, whoops, I'm just gonna funnel it straight into my bottle. And that's it guys. So okay. And of course you can give that now a really good shake up there. I didn't give it much of a stir because I knew I could shake it now. But if you're making a big amount, please stir it up properly. Right. And there we have it guys. Okay. There's our product. Give it a good shake, leave it to sit a minute, and then you can test it. Right guys, time to test. Here we have the product. Now you can adjust the thickness as I said. Let's just give it a go. Right. Oh yeah. Do you see now? It's come out. I don't know if you can see that as a cloud. That's what you want. I don't know if you can see the wetness on my hand there. I hope you can. Um, don't forget the backs and in between your fingers. <sighs> Smells lovely. I hope that helps guys. And I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe.